Hi everyone, uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video and coming to my YouTube channel. I will be talking about JMeter load testing against uh, Azure Kubernetes Service and I will just do a quick walkthrough end-to-end uh, -end, um, running a, a JMeter load testing tool with um, against uh, Azure Kubernetes Service where I have a ton of, well, uh, like five applications um, and just and just really uh, generate a lot of load against it and kind of see what the monitoring uh, metrics uh, look like. So here's uh, JMeter. It's a, a free uh, tool and um, I have here a, a test plan solution that I built out and it has uh, HTTP requests to uh, these uh, apps that I have. Right, so I have here one, two, three, four, five, six uh, different applications. And really all I'm doing is um, uh, just calling uh, an HTTP URL right here. Uh, I define HTTPS here, uh, server name uh, or IP address, uh, the path, but I'm just gonna, you know, just do the root uh, URL for each one of these. Okay, uh, well, for this one, I have a, a path here. And so, and all I'm doing is generating um, <clears throat> a lot of load uh, with 500 uh, simulated, like, uh, virtual users. And uh, here I have a setting that it's going on for, like, uh, you know, 20, 2,000 seconds, okay, with a ramp-up period of 50. And so... Um, and what I'll do is here, I'll just click start. And that will start the load test. Okay. And um, and just to see what kind of apps I have is uh, just these kind of demo apps I have. Um, right here, guestbook, loading app. Uh, let's see here. Uh, .NET Core based application here. Um, and so, yeah, that's, those are the apps. Now, go back to JMeter tool. Um, <clears throat> I have here something called, uh, like, um, let's see here, add, uh, kind of, uh, yep, these are listeners, okay. So, summary report. So as the load test is, is, is going on, you know, you kind of see uh, the number of requests, um, kind of error rate, th throughput, you know, 7.7 .7 requests per second. Um, and these other listeners, just to see kind of the requests that are happening at kind of real time, okay. Uh, we also have a response time graph as well. <clears throat> so, and number of milliseconds, okay, response times for each of the apps that you see here. Each uh, colored uh, line is, a, is an app. And these are different ways of viewing, kind of um, measuring and viewing uh, kind of what's going on here. Right, so these are just all out of the box and just go right click and add uh, another kind of visual graph representation. Okay, so as that's going on, uh, let's turn to the Azure portal. So, okay, so we just want to refresh that. And so, here is uh, my, uh, in the AKS Kubernetes cluster, actually I should go here, go to the overview, and and then once you click here on the monitoring insights, so this is, uh, you know, Azure monitor for containers, we can kind of see the uh, node CPU utilization, um, and memory utilization, active pod count, and node count. So it's it's kind of say last 30 minutes. So we have okay. So we don't have 
data yet. I think it's still being kind of generated. Or let's try last hour. Okay, so I think it's too soon to see um, kind of data that's been acted on. But let's see here. I have, okay, let's go to live. Okay, and then we can kind of see uh, the live monitoring here. So we get that. So as we can see, uh, uh, utilization is at, you know, roughly 30% at the max, average 17%. Uh, memory is at, you know, average 57%. And the max peak is 74%. What's interesting that we can see here is that the node count, right? So in this AKS cluster, it started off with four nodes and it has increased to five. So what I think is, what is happening here is that because uh, this cluster has uh, auto scaling turned on, so with the uh, amount of load and kind of the memory and CPU uh, pressure that's uh, being had, it just uh, at this point it created another node. Okay, and with that node, uh, there are more uh, pods being um, created because there is some of these apps have um, horizontal pod auto scaling. So as there's uh, more load being generated to take on that load, um, you know, more pod replicas are being created. So we can see here, it's pretty cool in real time. It you know it had uh, you know 77 running. And we have up to 87 pods running, okay? And uh, and it's continued to increase as well, okay? And as you can see here as well, that uh, CPU utilization has come down, and I believe that it's because um, as this node was created and pods are being um, uh, used up, then the overall CPU, CPU utilization has gone down due to the increased uh, capacity with that fifth node um, added. And as you can see here, as uh, we got another node that was created, so we got numbers, uh, the sixth one, and that's because you know there is more uh, pods being created uh, to take on that load. Again, um, through uh, horizontal pod auto scaling for uh, some of the applications that we've seen. So, you know, um, see here, bookstore. So if I refresh, it's kind of slow to respond because it is definitely really busy. Um, another thing to look at in terms of monitoring is we can see drill down to kind of uh, each of the, the nodes right here. So, okay, we only see four right now. Uh, there should be six, but I do think that, you know, it is really trying to uh, uh, catch up to the, the monitoring data that's being collected. So it's probably not uh, as real time as one would hope for. So let's see here. So, so we have these four nodes at the current moment that's being displayed. Uh, next we have uh, controllers. Okay. Um, and so let's see here. And we can drill down and click into them. And then we can see kind of some uh, monitoring metrics. OK. Uh, especially this is useful information. So you see the CPU limit and requests. Uh, for, so here uh, we have CPU in 100 millicores. And the request is 50. 
So those are kind of like soft and hard, hard limits. But right now we can't really, see, we, we don't know by looking at this how much utilization. But if we click on the live metrics, we can see kind of the uh, pod CPU utilization in millicores. So we have here uh, 20. Uh, so that is below the uh, 50 millicore threshold, so which is pretty good. Uh, live events, uh, just general kind of uh, logging, but uh, we can ignore, uh, ignore that for now. So, so that's really cool. Uh, we can get okay. We can drill into the containers here, and we see that. Uh, get more kind of a granular view. So let's see here, will we look at, okay, let's look at the WordPress one. So again here, we can see um, for right at the container uh, level and uh, kind of see the CPU uh, millicores and 100 millicore requests that, you know, I like to pay attention. And uh, if it's, you know, uh, over allocated, then we can uh, tighten that up and, uh, and uh, update the YAML configuration. And with live events, so yeah, there's no live metrics with this one. So, so there you have that. Um, in some cases, we can see kind of tr trend lines here uh, to see how busy, but everything is pretty uh, green at the moment. Uh, it's 95 percentile. So nothing kind of in the red. Okay. So okay, let's go back to uh, a cluster level um, and c CPU utilization has kind of calmed down there. So, yeah, so um, so that concludes uh, kind of my quick overview, kind of end to end going from J meter to um, uh, applying um, you know, HTTP traffic load to um, multiple applications in a single Kubernetes cluster and seeing uh, some of kind of the key metrics and behaviors uh, shown through Azure Monitor for containers. So uh, thank you for watching.